Greetings fellow humans, it's Melinda the Good here, and today we're playing a indie horror game by David Szymanski called Finger Bones. Alright, so I heard this is more of a horror story type game. So that's the exit. We seem to be stuck in a really big room. At least it's bright. At least it's not dark. Um, can't open this door. Okay, so let's just explore around a bit. Not the best with horror games. Not too sure what I'm supposed to be doing. Is that a cup? I can't seem to be able to interact with anything right now. Oh, there. This lo definitely looks like a note. It's my weekend to get Katie, but I'm not... I'm really not in the mood. I distracted her with the TV and came here to read. I couldn't interest myself in reading, so I tried to write. I couldn't write anything more than the usual handful of disconnected thoughts and theories. Medication didn't help, and divorce certainly didn't help. Because I'm not depressed, I am enlightened. This is the result of two decades of scientific education and philosophical pondering. This is the price of knowledge. Okay, I guess sounds like he, the person, became a little bit disconnected from reality after his divorce. So, interesting. Books, notes, and knives. Not the usual combination of items I would have on a table. Okay, let's check what's over here. There's some drawers. Nope, these don't open. Oh, is that another note? Oh, it's so dark I could barely see. It appears to be a page from a manuscript. Pop morality is too reliant on emotions and not reliant enough on rational thought. If morality must be determined, and I maintain that it is a farce, it should not be determined by feeling. Feelings are nebulous, subjective and changeable. Rather, it should be determined by thinking. The actions of a na natural creature are natural and thus moral, unless a concrete scientific reason can be given to prove them as immoral. These definitely do seem like philosophical questions. There seems to be something attached to this, but I can't quite see what it is. A keyboard? A tablet? I can't tell. Anyways, there's another note over here. Oh, a flashlight. Oh great, we can see better now. Anything? Okay, there's definitely something behind this door. That looks way too unnatural to be normal. Okay, now there's another note. Nothing I could do with this box. I don't know why I'd use my daughter's name as a door lock code in my survival bunker, but whatever keeps her happy. I suppose she's like her mother, a delicate, fragile version of her mother. Damn her. Okay, so key to the door is Katie, because in his first note, he mentioned Katie as his daughter. However, I did not even find the door yet. Buddy? What did that do? Looks like it's a generator of some sort? Oh, there's no unpressing that. Is this the locked door that he was talking about? No, there's no key code for this. That's to exit the game. So this is a survival bunker. Oh, this lit up. Oh, I guess we could try Katie then. Katie with proper capitalization. 
Did I spell it wrong? What is that first note? No, it is Katie. K A T I E. There's nothing else we can do here. What is that? Okay, so I don't really know what to do with this. It's a keypad of some type. What's that? I can't tell what that is on the desk. A pen? It might be a pen. I'm trying to see if there's any clues that I missed, or a note, or something. At least so far the game's pretty peaceful and quiet. There's nothing there. So the only clue we have is the door lock code is his daughter's name, and I'm pretty sure it was Katie. Nothing on this chair. Can't crouch, so I assume there's nothing underneath the table. Oh, did I read this note? No, I didn't. When I was 15 years old, I lost my virginity. I shook uncontrollably the entire time. I felt that same primal excitement yesterday night in the cellar. Okay, something happened yesterday. And I'm a little worried because I don't see, you know, Katie around. Hope she's okay. It's not Katie, what could it be? Hmm. Am I missing like a blatantly obvious note somewhere? First puzzle and I'm stuck already. Nothing in the corners. I feel like I'm just going around in circles right now. Let's just quickly review this note again. To get Katie. There are no other names. Bunch of spider webs. Definitely didn't miss anything here, right? And I can't open any of these drawers. What can I be missing? I know this is like the fifth time I checked the cabinets. Uh, what about the pillars? Nothing hidden on them. Anything in the corners over here? Okay. So I'm pretty sure this is a generator, and this is what turned on the electricity. Oh, the door does open. That's weird. I, I'm pretty sure I tried the door before and it didn't open. Okay, you know what? I like the other room better. I do not like this room at all. Okay, another note. Hooray. It's finally happened. The whole world is a chaos of thunder and screams, and when the ashes settle, we will all be wild animals again. I'm ecstatic beyond words. I haven't been able to reach Lynn for several days, and she's probably dead for all I know or care. But Katie was here when it started, and I have no idea what to do with her. Most of the town is dead. Katie and I only survived because we ran to the bunker. Perhaps this is what I've needed. Freedom from all the irrational rules and inane social values. Just pure, beautiful survival. 
okay, something terrible has happened outside. Did anyone else hear that? I heard something. And I did not like that something. Save the trapdoor for later. Okay, something terrible happened outside. Everyone's dead. This door is locked again. I can just poke it a little bit more because last time I was pretty sure I tried that door and it didn't open. Okay, let's go down this scary trapdoor. No? Oh, there's another note here. Maybe we have to read this first. I boxed up everything that isn't practical and useful. I burned all the books that weren't for scientific education. I like to store the boxes in the cellar, but I can't get them down the ladder by myself. I just piled them near the hatch. The blood would probably ruin them anyway. The blood? What do y'all mean blood? Don't like that. Okay, there's another note within the boxes. Uh... The tool room has been her name for years now. I can't bring myself to change it. Her name? Okay, so there was another name mentioned and it was Lynn in this note. Haven't been able to reach Lynn for several days. Is that maybe his ex-wife? Okay, well let's go back upstairs and try Lynn. Was that two ends or one? I swear to god, if anything changes in this room when I come back, I will like freak out and just cry. Okay, let's try Lynn. Nope. It's not Lynn. I really like the atmosphere in this game. It's suspenseful, but at the same time, it's very... Like, it's almost peaceful and quiet. You don't know what to expect. Let's just read this again. Did I spell it right? I did. I keep... Okay, that is definitely the sound of a girl crying. Oh, you know what? F my life. That door was locked. Okay, we, we tried it multiple times and it was locked as locked can be and now it's it's wide open and, and the game wants me to go inside like as if it's perfectly normal right after I hear a girl crying. Uh, how about no? You know what? No, I really don't want to. And I notice the rooms are getting progress progressively darker. What kind of survival bunker is this? I mean, there's not a lot, to be honest. Okay, let's see this note. She remembered Father's Day and drew me a picture. I don't understand her. She's just like her mother. She wants to waste time drawing pictures, and we're barely able to find enough food to survive. I turned her crayons into candles. We need more candles in case the generator goes out again, and it helps break up the monotony. I yearn for the excitement of those first weeks. Okay, so dude living with his daughter for a while. Ah, uh, dude doesn't like fun, doesn't like crayons. There are things I've wanted to do for years. Desires I've kept locked in the back of my consciousness. It's been nearly a year since I've seen a woman, and now I realize there's no practical reason to keep those desires locked up anymore. Alright, this game just took a huge turn for uh, the creepier. Oh, there's another door. Lovely. Okay, what's over here? A note. I changed the storage room code to something I can easily remember, and and why the rest of the word is missing. 
Max, look, it could be Lynn spelled backwards. Still worried about that child crying noise. Don't like kids in creepy horror games. Yeah, another fake locked door. Okay, whatever. Okay, just let me just make sure I didn't miss any more notes. Right, we, we read this one. Yeah, that's the creepy one. Alright, well, let's go check out that trap door then. Well, it's still locked. Not sure if I'm happy or sad about that. So when this note said storage room code, does that mean that code upstairs? Do we have to spell Lynn backwards? We, I guess we could try that. I really don't like leaving this room and coming back in because there, there's always that creepy kid noise. Don't like creepy kid noises. the paper that he said he wrote her name as the code. Was it here? As a door lock code in my survival bunker. Okay, one was for the storage shed, the other one's for the bunker? This is loud. I swear, it looks darker every time I come down here. There's nothing over here. Okay, let's try this door now. Nope, still locked. Still creepy as usual. Okay... There was that one note up here. What was that? I hear breathing, what the hell? Please, no. Don't like this room. The game assumes I want to open these doors, but you know what? I'm really happy with not opening any of these doors at all. Like that. I hear something. It's like breathing. Jesus. Can I close the door? Nope. Okay, there's only one note in here. Oh, and a button. Oh, lovely. Okay, let's just read the note first. A bag of DNA, and I exist to make more of myself. I married and produced a daughter because my genes demand re reproduction. I wrote books and created because creativity served a survival advantage to my ancient ape ancestors. I built this place, took refuge in it, and spent hours thinking up silly little artificial laws to live by because my forefathers built cities and societies to allow time and peace to reproduce and to protect their genes. Dreams, loves, opinions, desires, beauty, innocence, figments of our collective primori primordial imagination, fleeting electrical signals that fire across our synapses for a pointless moment in time. They used to serve a purpose, and now they are needless confusion. And here I am, the last man on earth for all I know, ready to be freed from them. Okay, this dude is clearly struggling with his identity and morality. Let's see what happens when we press this button. I'm assuming something changed. Don't really want to know what. That breathing noise really freaked me out. 
Like, what the hell was that? You know what? I bet that button unlocked the trap door. No, it didn't. Huh, what about that? Maybe I'm secretly relieved. Oh, Jesus Christ, what was that noise? You know, whatever happened outside, I'm quite sure it's not as bad as being trapped down here. I would like to leave now, please. Okay, so my theory is dude went insane down in his bunker. Survivor's, survivor's guilt and all of that. And you know what? That's what the noises I'm hearing are. They're just figments of my imagination. Figments. Complete figments. I don't know what I'm- like, what I want to do back up here. It's just more comforting with the, 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 the yellow lights and everything. I still have no clue what to do about this, um... Code thing. Like... That's not it. Maybe Katie backwards. Nope. Although it didn't make an angry beeping noise at me. Who knows? This this room is just a little bit more comforting than the the uh, creepy noise room down down here. Seriously, I don't like this room. Look, that door closed by itself because I clearly remember leaving it open the last time I went up. Okay, maybe I missed something in that storage room. You know what? This game really doesn't need all that much no that all those noises. You know, it really doesn't. It's a tiny room. I don't think I missed anything, but it's possible because you know I'm not exactly uh, calm right now looks unpressed, but I can't press it again. Nothing over here. What am I missing? Yeah, we don't really need all this ambient noise either. Nothing to do with the sink, right? Jesus, what was that noise? It's becoming like more frequent and louder and 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 um I don't I don't really know what I'm doing. I really don't know what I'm doing here. Really don't like this room. It's like the the lights are out, the filters are aren't working properly. Um you know, do needs to install some light switches. But that button had to have done something. It's not this. The button was behind some boxes, so maybe I missed another button somewhere? Maybe? I don't know, what am I missing? What am I doing wrong? Maybe there was something upstairs? Oh god, that generator scared me. Like, are there secret buttons or something? What am I supposed to do? I keep feeling like we're supposed to solve this code somehow, but I have no idea what or how. That's not a button, is it? Nope. Oh, oh, this opened. This is new. This is very new. Oh god, those are... Those are... Oh my goodness, those look like finger bones and a lot of blood. The cellar is freedom. The cellar is freedom. The cellar is freedom. Hee 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 hee. The cellar is freedom! Okay, 
I'm just gonna try cellar, okay? Just, just, just bear with me. I'm annoyed that I can't figure out this. I feel like it should be so obvious, but I don't, I don't know what it is. It's not any of these. I have no clue. I feel like I should be able to figure out. But anyways, let's go down into the cellar. Cause it's freedom. Hee, <laughs> it's freedom. I'm brave. I'm very brave. I can do this. Oh, it's still locked. I'm gonna stop trying to sound so relieved every time it's locked. Um, we need to get this open. Okay, any more creepy noises? Anything changed here? Was that cup always on the ground? Maybe. I actually don't know. Um, oh, is there something behind here? Uh, whatever it is, I can't see it. Oh, come on. Stop making creepy noises at me. that's changed here. Doesn't seem to be much. Nothing over here either. What could I be missing? Okay, yeah, creepy noises got it. Well, plus, what are all these tools for? He's a writer. Nothing's gonna pop out at me, right? I feel like there's like a giant- it's just, this, this entire thing is just building up to a giant jump scare. Okay, nothing changed down here. Maybe we missed something upstairs again. I don't like staying down here for very long. Seriously, there's there's nothing else here, right? Nothing else. Some fingers, which is kind of gruesome, and a note. Seller's freedom. And I am like 99% sure that I'm just being really dumb and I can't figure out what the puzzle, how to solve this puzzle. Alright, so I maybe cheated a little bit because I was really stumped. The last clue, apparently I did everything right so far until the very end where I was kind of being dumb. In fact, I was so close too. This, 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 this note here, the seller is freedom and I wrote seller instead of freedom. I am a complete idiot. I'm, I'm half annoyed with myself, half still terrified of those noises inside the room. Freedom. See, it just makes like this angry beeping noise at me, so I don't even know if that's correct or not. Anyway, supposedly this opens the cellar trapdoor. And I can't wait to see what's down there. Oh boy. Hello? What the hell? That was a scream. Let's just read the note. Oh god, the, my light is flickering. There's only enough food for one, so she's going to die anyway. I'm free now, freedom. It took the end of all humanity for me to find freedom. Oh my god. Okay, he killed his daughter. And I assume she's buried down here, or hacked to pieces, or eaten. Oh my goodness. Last note? They seem to have been torn from a diary. She finally died last night. I don't know whether from starvation, dehydration, or blood loss. I threw her body into the woods. Her fingers, my anti-religious artifacts, my testament to moral and intellectual freedom are locked in the safe upstairs. 
I am content in the knowledge that I haven't done anything wrong. Okay, if that's what makes you feel better, dude. The father didn't know why he'd come back after all these years, starving and tired. He just wanted to see the cellar one last time. With one last flicker, the flashlight died and he was left in the pitch dark. He sat down on the cold floor and closed his eyes. He could still hear her, even now. It was peaceful here in the cellar. It was free here in the cellar. Well, that was definitely a very interesting psychological horror game. Um, I was definitely very uneased throughout the entire thing, just from the, the atmosphere, the lighting, the fact that, well, nothing really happened, it was all in your head, really. The notes started off almost a little bit normal, some guy writing about his views on philosophy and morals, and then some sort of catastrophe happened, something that wiped out, out the town. And then it became an interesting test of survival. And you know, whether it's moral to kill someone out of mercy, I guess. But he clearly couldn't live with the guilt. He had a lot of repressed desires, I guess. But anyways, this game really shook me to the core. I really liked it. Anyways, you can find this game Finger Bones by David Szymanski on Steam for free. It's really interesting, and if you want to hear creepy child screaming and gasping, then yeah, definitely play this game. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next video.